Parking Enforcement Judy Hobbs cars. That's so funny. Oh, how cute. You guys think you're cops. So welcome to a very special vlog Thursday, guys. Today, I would like to announce that we are officially at 2,000 subscribers. Thanks entirely to you guys. I'll be honest with you, when I first started this channel, I never even dreamed that it would be this popular. I never even thought that I'd get here. Uh, back in the day, like the first like June or something like that, man, nobody was watching. Nobody was watching for months and months. I'd get like 10 or 20 views on a video. And now, you know, there's a, there's videos on this channel with 70,000 views. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. Oh my God, it's selfie time. Oh my God. So, like I was saying, we got to 2,000 subscribers. It took us about two years, two and a half years or so. You know what? We're still plugging away. We're still making videos. I think we're like 250 videos strong. I don't really know. Don't quote me out. I'd have to look. But to be honest with you, it has been an absolute fun time. We've gone from barely editing anything to Final Cut Pro, two cameras, not one. Not two, count them one, two, three different motorcycles on this channel. We've made friends, we've gone to the Tale of the Dragon. Man, it has been an absolute epic journey so far. And I'm happy that you guys have been along with me. And I'm also happy to continue this journey. So we are gonna keep this party going. This journey is gonna continue. Uh, the train is showing no signs of stopping. We're just gonna have fun and make motorcycle videos and just try to continue improving this community that we've cultivated here. I tell you what, it's been an absolute blast. I couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better channel. I couldn't ask for better subscribers. It has been an absolute blast, guys. Thank you so much for everything. Holy crap, that guy was slow. So guys, as we do every single time this channel gets to big round numbers, we do a Q&A video. If you guys have any questions, questions about the channel, questions about the motorcycle, questions about anything at all, leave them in the comments down below, or you can email them to paramoto959 at gmail.com. I am going to collect questions until we have a good, respectable number of them, and then we're just gonna make an entire video answering your questions for probably the world's okayest motor vlogger. So, I mean, that's exciting. You can look forward to that. That's coming up. Free the new snow dams. What? Free the new snow dam. No wetlands, no seafood. You guys staring at me. What's up? Thank you. Icon. <laughs> Thank you. opportunity for a spam card that I do not have. I really need to make some spam cards. What do we got? An R6? No, uh, 959. <laughs> oh, no, that's not an R6. That's got to be a fire blade. That's a fire blade. With that tail the way it is, that's definitely a fire blade. Oh my god, look how flat that tire is. Do you ever turn that motorcycle? It's going to be a really cool video to do like uh, a 1000cc super bike from Japan versus an Italian. Because honestly, like, bikes are so tor- I don't know what the torque spreads are on that. But these bikes right here have so much torque that it, they might beat him off the line for a minute. Let's see if he wants to play with his sleeves out. Sun's out, guns out, bro. Sun's out, guns out. No, he does not know how to turn that motorcycle. Definitely need to tune that bike, dude. Oh man, it stinks so much. What'd you do to that thing, bro? Oh, dude, I don't know why that thing smelled so bad. It didn't even smell like rich, like exhaust. It smelled like garbage. He didn't really put that much space between us, to be totally honest with you. The GoPro kind of distorts things, but I feel like he would have you know, would have smashed the distance on that one, but he really didn't. See, that's almost like part of the, part of the theory is that this bike has so much damn torque, it could keep up for a minute with a thousand cc from Japan. Keep in mind that this is not the top of the line Ducati Panigale either. This is the little guy that can kind of keep up with the biggest guy of Japanese origin. So that's not really that bad, I don't think. And this thing looks so much better. And the build quality is better. I wonder if the cutoff shirt came with that motorcycle or if he made that himself. So guys, 
shenanigans aside, throw me your questions for the Q&A video coming up. As soon as we get enough, I'll go ahead and post the video. We'll probably do it in the garage again. I felt like that was pretty cool. Um, I'll rearrange the bikes and everything now that I don't have to hide the Harley so you can see everything and we'll just hang out and um, we'll do a Q&A. But anyway guys, that's it for today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe down below. I'll see you guys later. Doosh.